Hey guys, Skimway38 on here. Once again, we're back in Beam, and today we're taking a look at quite a few things. We have ourselves a brand new map by Redline. This is his custom world finals. It is quite the spectacle. It's got the main event here. It's got a little pit party. It's got a, a ride truck area as well. Some parking for the trucks. And over here... Uh, looks like a mini monsters or a dirt break area. Pretty cool. Uh, if we go to the main menu in Free Roam and find this map, it has a ton of spawn points. So I'll just show you where they all are. We got the default, which is in the middle. We got the lanes. We have the pit party. We have the pits. We have the ride truck. We have a tough truck area. And then the default. Uh, I don't know why there's two defaults, but oh well. It works very well done. A lot of people seem to be enjoying it, and now, so will I. But, uh, we're going to be driving the new CRD beta, uh, 2.7 beta 1. The biggest thing for this update is that the skinny chassis is going to be having a ton of customization. So if we take a look at its parts menu here, you can see... It's got a ton of different cab supports. It's got uh, triangle support options. And all these things that normally wouldn't uh, be changed were selectable. Now, uh, we can fully customize how you want your skinny chassis to look. And this is because it's getting a few bodies, I'm pretty sure, in the future. I'm not sure which bodies. But for now, uh, we'll be able to take a look at what we got here. So... Right now, the cab side supports here. You can see the rails. Uh, they're facing forward. If I face one as a cross, we'll be able to see left and right the difference. So we can see here, that's got a crossbar. That one's just one bar going forward. So if I wanted to go to a point, take a look here. You can see they kind of meet in the middle. And backwards is the same as forwards, but, well, just backwards. Or, what I notice here is we can even remove it. Now, I wonder if all these have, uh, like, node weight or if they're only a visual mesh. If all those had node weight and removing the bars made the truck lighter, that would be quite the level of detail. That would be something I would do. I would be proud of Mike for that. Very well done, Mike, but I don't know if he actually has. So, uh, let's just say he does. Yay, Mike, you're the best. I'm going to leave them empty just because. With engine bar support. Right now it's empty. Uh, I don't know what that's going to do. If we add engine bar support. Does it add another bar to the engine? Uh, it's like another bar behind the fr uh, seat. Okay. That looks cool. I don't know what trucks would run that, but it looks cool. New options. Very nice. Rear triangle support. Let's take a look here. And the best thing is highlighting the part will make it very easy to see. Rear triangle support. Uh, can't exactly tell what that does. Oh, it just adds like another little bar there, maybe? Yeah, that's a very odd small bar to have in place, but oh well. That's cool if you want to have it or not. A cradle plate? I'm pretty sure that's for, like, you know, the bottom. Yeah. Just adds a left hand plate to the bottom. It You can customize that to have whatever you like on it, so that's cool. Fuel cell guard, we've had that before, but take a look at this. We've had the standard, we've had none, and now we have the box type to make it look a little bit more like CRC. Take a look at that. That's really cool. And I'm not sure if Skinny Chassis is the start of a total revamp of all the chassis, if all these chassis are going to get this, but for now, this is amazing. And the bow tie, well, the bow tie, I'm not sure if the bow tie is going to have anything extra to it. Mm, doesn't seem to do anything extra, like no deformation or anything uh, like that. Uh, Lexan nameplate. Uh, cab? Oh, 
Look at this. We have cab options as well. I didn't see that. Uh, let's go ahead. All right now, this is a custom cab. If we go to standard cab, what do we got? You can really see how insane the customization is. So, c custom. Uh, it's uh, standard and custom. I guess custom is even skinnier than normal to fit the custom bodies we got. And front cab support, front window support, mid cab support, and roof bars, divider, and cross. I'll have both so you can see both. Let's take a look at all the things here. I imagine it will yep. <laughs> it'll show make the inside of the cab feel very caged in, but you know you will be safe. Let's make it as caged in as possible, just because. And then the poor driver. I don't know how he's going to feel about this, but... <laughs> oh, man. He has no way in or out. He's just kind of there. I know it's a game thing, but I don't know how being in a totally open cage makes it quieter. Because <laughs> the exhaust is right beneath you. It doesn't make sense, but whatever. Uh, but yeah, here we can see all the new bars, how uh, they look on top and on bottom. Just an insane amount of customization for the skinny chassis. And I wanted to give it... Uh, oh. Oh, that's the F-150 body. Uh, let's see here. Cab extension. Look at this. We have even more here. We have an extension. And then these are all the flags. And shell design. And support bars. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and go for that. And support bar. I don't know what support bar is. I guess for the body. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, that's for the like little thing that some bodies attach to. I can see the mesh kind of going into one another here. I guess there's nothing you can do about that with that level of customization. So yeah, and then Game Boy Motorsports is one of my trucks. I think Cake Room made it, actually. That's really good. Uh, available now if you want it. Engine bars. We have even more options here. If we just make this thing as Cajun as possible, what will it look like? Yep, we got even more engine bars. We got another support up top. I'd imagine stuff like this would be to fit uh, bodies perfectly. So that almost looks like Brodo's or just how it is, but I don't really know. Just an insane amount of customization here. So along with CRD getting all this revamp here, uh, there's not an update out for CRC yet, beta, but I have seen some insane reworks going on, so that's going to be very interesting to see uh, how these two will match up to each other with the level of customization they're going to have in the reworks. It'll be insane, trust me. It's going to be awesome. That's not all, though. Of course not. We have plenty more. Going to go down the line here. We have a revamp of Martyr. Don't worry, the original is still in place, but we have Martyr on the F-250. This is Martyr 2 to help distinguish it. Amazing custom paint by Jedi Presence, of course. Well, I say of course. Oh, man, I, I didn't see that before. Look at that skull on the back. That's incredible. But yeah. Got that presence, new paint. But we also have paints from Fusion. We have paints from Geo. And we have some inclusions from other packs going into the main mod. So we have some headers from Bobcat pack going into the main mod. We have some bodies from m -Gen Pack going into the main mod. Uh, 
I'm not sure how that's going to affect file size. I know one of the main goals with revamping all the chassis to be kind of one pack uh, would be file size, but just adding more here. I don't know. Never mind. That discussion will come up when it's time to come up. That might not be for another year, though. So, yeah, I don't know why I'm bringing it up or even bothering. But this track, this track is packed full of obstacles. You will not uh, get a full run in hitting everything and survive. I'm calling it now. Like a full two-minute run, pedal to the metal. If you try to do a full run, your truck will explode or expire. Or both. Give it up for Martyr. Yep, fell over. I've uh, been told the backflip ramps here are a little sus, but I guess just get good. Next up we have Bauhaus, or however you pronounce it. It's an odd looking truck, but this is one of the trucks that has the new headers uh, from Bobcat Pack. These are uh, the shoebox mags. I have made a custom file to make them lose power because in theory, they're more restrictive, but I haven't implemented them or shown them off or done anything yet. It's whatever. But yeah, this truck is incredible. There's a few presets for this. Uh, it's absolutely one of the best skins that Fusion has ever made, and it's a worthy inclusion of putting into the main mod. Rip. Are we just leaving them here? No, we're not. Okay. Wait, what's going on with it? Oh, yeah. This truck has higher idle because of the engine file it was going under some experiments. It should be back to 1800 or so by the time it's released. Uh, next up, we go to Geo's paint with Hooligan and Hulk. The Hooligan. Uh, kind of been a long time coming. I had an old version on like a beta body uh, before this uh, Silverado was out. But now it's looking way better than it ever did when I had it in early access. So, a great job, Geo. Geo Designs. Geo Designs also did Backwards Wilbur for me in the meme pack. So, no, he's talented in many ways. Let's just say that. Yeah, backflip ramp a little sus. I just need to get good, I guess. Next up, also by Geo, we have a few configurations for Hulk. Looking good. This is the 2012 variant, but there are some 2014 and the World Finals variants, so uh, you can prepare yourself to you know, get those. What chassis is this on? The skinny chassis. So this is uh, probably one of the reasons for the skinny chassis having so many customizations so you could fit this body on it and others. The quad bus stack, I love that. A good run by Hulk. Next up, we have Monster Mutt. Not a new truck, but this is the 2022 variant, so it's on the CRD3 proper. And I'm not sure it's been revamped at all, but this does uh, look really good. It's got the bushy brows, it's got the shaped rear end, and the ears are as cool as ever. I don't know why I keep doing that. It never ends well. 
I guess it does get some interesting breakages, and you, you could report on that, but oh well. Oh. Okay, walls are a little bit grabby, but not run ending. So that's good. Not bad. But yep. Mutt body on another chassis, so you get more customization there. That's been the theme here. Just a ton more customization. And that's awesome. Next up, we have the 2022 Megalodon. With the glowing eyes. Take a look at that. You can turn on the headlights, and you get the glowing eyes. That looks incredible. I would maybe try to brighten them up a little bit. Not just me, though. They look really good. I guess they're really bright, they just don't seem to emit any light. I don't know how you would fix that. I don't know light, so... Yep. There goes all the body already. How on earth did I lose both of the limiting straps on the back? What? <laughs> I don't know how on earth I did that. That's a freaking miracle. I lost both of the rear limit straps at the same time when I broke something in the front. That doesn't add up. Somebody tell me what I did wrong there. <laughs> or if you've ever had that happen. That's incredible. I'm never going to do that again if that's unintentional. Or if that's a bug and it'll happen every time. With the 33 body here, Jesse thing. And this truck is all sorts of messed up. Looks like Max D World Final was what, six, where he just kept plowing it into the van stack and stuff. Wouldn't steer, would barely drive, putting out smoke everywhere. That was so cool. Ah, oh, no, that's a run under. Oh well. They had the ends up. Oh, wait, no, come on. Yes, I got away. I don't know how much more of this run I can do, but, eh. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, well, that's going to do it for this beta testing video. I found a weird thing with the rear limit straps. I don't know how I did that. But we have a ton of other awesome trucks, some revamps, some brand new trucks. Some inclusions from other packs coming in the main mod, and of course the skinny chassis being the most customizable thing I've probably ever seen. You know what? Uh, let's see here. If we go back to the skinny chassis and put in uh, the Ford customizable engine, there we go. Now we have the most customizable truck of all time. With, wait, do I have adjustable BKTs on this? There we go. Adjustable BKTs, adjustable Ford engine, adjustable chassis. The only thing we're uh, leaving out is like adjustable wheelbase suspension on this chassis, but that would just be insane. That's going to be it from me today. I hope you all enjoy it. And if you have any more suggestions, of course, leave it in the comments. The developers do watch the videos. And of course, leave your feedback on the paints. I think they're some of the best we've ever seen. That's it from me today. I'll see you all in the future. Goodbye, everybody.